what is up my homies today we are going to be starting up part three of biohazard biohazard bio mutant okay so we just got to picking a tribe um gonna be going with the myriad So let's go ahead and get in it. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? All right. So this is the way that we want to go. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. No way. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. A war stone? Or war zone? Loot. Alright. Well, I'm probably going to say this so much, but this game truly is beautiful. It's so like vibrant and colorful that you know it's just hard not That's to That's the a game Myriad like this. Tribes Fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. I'm just gonna mark my territory. This is now Let's my see. temple. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says the Sifu gets to choose who sees the Sifu. But he'll let you give it a try. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. Oh, 
Master. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on Crusade crossing the Great Wall through the Kraken Bunker 101 has preceded you. All the ghouls are gonna hide egg egg plats. Get it not. The wall that separates them from the other side? The wasteland you came from? He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. There were six of them, but the unity fell apart after Lupa Lupin attacked the old village. Soon after, they formed new tribes based on their own values, and when the blight started, the animosity escalated to war. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. The Jagni tribe may believe that fear and hatred will lead them to domination. A vanquisition of the tribes and destruction of the Tree of Life won't be the restart they want. It's just an end to everything. What was that? Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. Right. So. Your kin have run out of options and found themselves back into a corner. Even those who desire peace are forced to prepare for war. Alright. You way. need to take the struggle to the enemy, or the enemy will bring it to you. When survival is threatened, there's no other option left but war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. 
Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. You were all part of the same tribe once, but without your Muma there as a guide, the disciples turned on each other and formed their own tribes. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Even though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place that will make you remember. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurred. Let's go. 
Yo, this place is littered with dead bodies. I didn't even notice that before. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Reclaim my territory. Let's see. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of part 3, um, go ahead, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and comment down below, let me know what you think of this game so far, um, even if you think it's bad, or, you know, what, um, if you think it's weird, I know some people will probably think this is weird, so, Go ahead, do all that, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's get it.